what people do not want is more pain. Mm -hmm. All right? So here we have a situation where, by all assessments, the pain is going to continue. It is not going to decrease. Mm. The president, I think, has talked enough about that too, saying that now economically we are going two years back. So he's saying the pain is going to continue if not get worse. So if that is your script and your prescription, if that is what you foresee, why do you want to remain in office? So you say, hallelujah, I give up. I cannot handle this thing. I have no solution for Kenyans. Kama kuna wengine ambao wanaweza fanya hii kazi, karibuni. Do you think, Jimmy, I mean, just from what we are seeing here, I mean, it's clear um, that certain things have happened as a result of this. I mean, the first one, very clear, was that the president actually then declined to assent to the finance. He only did that to save in the state house. So now that's the question. So there's nothing that, else. Can we see that there is then a genuine mm. uh, um, desire to go for good governance? Is it a governance of, issue? Is, is because this, it's not a governance issue. Hang on, Jimmy. So look, this is the thing. Mm. That there's so many things that are being asked for today. Members of parliament, be recalled. Cabinet secretaries, get out of office because you people have been joking and eating our money. Um, it goes across board that we should have um, a, a debt audit. Let us know exactly what, which is one thing that you've been calling for, for for the longest time. So many things are being asked for. Mm. And then we see certain actions being taken. Number one, whether we want to say that it was for fear or for good conscience, the finance bill was in actuality rejected. We see that today an IEBC um, act will then be signed um, into law. We see certain things happening that would be direct demands of this particular movement. I think. Does it matter if they are there is a desire to have them done, or fear that you'll be hounded out of office if you don't? When I was last here, I recall saying that. Um, the prescription going forward is more and more economic pain. And I want to use the words of a famous political uh, lobbyist and advisor uh, called James Carvel. He was a big campaigner for Bill Clinton. Mm. Bill Clinton was then running against uh, the first George Bush, George Bush won. Mm. And people are asking, George Bush seems to have done quite a bit in terms of his worldwide um, uh, uh, the U.S. vis-a-vis -vis the world. Mm. So what was the problem? Why were people rejecting him so much? And James Carvel said, it's the economy, stupid. It's the economy. <laughs> it's the economy, stupid. It's the economy. No, this is not about governance mm. and pure, simple things. You think now because IABC is going to be put, the revolution feeling is gone? You think the Ruto must go slogan will go because he has done IBC? Mm. No. It's the economy. It's the economy. It's the economy. And that's one thing you must all digest. The pain going forward is even worse. So he is responsible for this bad economy. And Kenyans are not going to take it. It doesn't matter whether he puts IABC. It doesn't matter whether he cuts his expenses. In fact, they are going to get a whole issue here now as what is the catalyst to development. So you say because you see, mm. economically, mm. he has two twin evils, mm. which is the worst thing you can ever have in an economy. Any economist will tell you. The twin evils of inflation and recession. So, for example, he says prices were high the other day for things. Things have come down. Yeah. Simple monetary tools, uh, monetary policy tools. All you do, right, is simply remove liquidity from the market. So central bank asks bank to increase their cash ratio. Interest rates go up, right? You remove liquidity. So goods start looking for where there is money. What is the price level? So they start coming down. But what you get is that we all start saying we don't have money in our pockets, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And if we are running companies, we can't pay wages. Overdrafts are too expensive. Getting a loan is too expensive to expand your business. So you fast-paced recession. We're already going through a recession. Now you really fast-pace it. If you allow liquidity, you have a high cost of goods, right? Mm -hmm. And you may slow down recession. But in this case, you will not. Mm -hmm. Right? The only tool he has, right, to stop these two twin evils is to reduce taxation. And he cannot reduce taxation 
because as per the figures I've seen this morning on how much KRA has received, almost 80%, it's 77.5, almost 80% of that taxation is going to one item called debt. debt. And it's not going to decrease this following year. 2025 is increasing. 2026 is increasing. 2027 is increasing. So, my friend, mm. he does not have a solution. And but since that, he doesn't have a solution, mm. and he said, I don't know how he draws his figures, says, I'm going to borrow another one trillion. Who has given him permission to borrow another one trillion? Is that in the budget? Yeah. Is that where is this permission? He just draws figures. You mean he decides as he wishes to do what? Okay? If, to do what? If I were to believe what you've said, that mm. he doesn't have a solution, mm. does that mean that no solution exists? No, there is a solution, but he can't take he can't make it. It's too painful for him. It's too painful for him. The man actually is going to fail dismally before your eyes. The solution here, as we've been saying for two years is to address debt and he has two choices he's tried over taxation it has failed he's tried over borrowing it has failed this year he has borrowed 1.8 trillion 1.8 trillion when parliament only passed 351 billion all right this man has only got two choices to default on this debt and i say specifically that this debt is illegal and we should be calling it odious. Remove it from our books. Remove it from pain that we are facing every day. But he cannot do that. Why? Because he is partly responsible. He was in government when this odious debt was taken from 2013. And there are two things that started this.